The carefree life of a child, where every second is full of adventure and fun. Children should not have to deal with such complicated issues as child abuse. And yet every 10 seconds, a report of abuse is made in the U.S. The Oklahoma Institute for Child Advocacy reported that more than 13,000 Oklahoma children were victims of child abuse or neglect in 2005, and 75% of those cases were under the age of four years old. More than 50 children died last year in the state, and two-year-old Kelsey Smith Briggs of Meeker, whose face has appeared on many signs around the surrounding counties, was one of them. In June of 2005, Kelsey was placed back into the mother's home after a district judge's ruling, even after DHS had reports of abuse and had objections. When paternal grandmother Kathy Briggs wanted help, she contacted many legislators. When Kelsey died, a lot of people failed her, different agencies in the state of Oklahoma. Kelsey would have, you know, be alive if we had her law before. And that's when I said, you know, maybe we need a new law and you could name it for Kelsey. From coloring books to court cases, children are facing more today than they ever have. Hopefully with the new Kelsey Smith Briggs Child Protection Reform Act, authored by Chris Steele, it plans to strengthen training of court-appointed child advocates and make judges more accountable for their rulings in child placement cases. So hopefully fewer children will end up here. However, Potawatomi County District Court Judge John Garner says that every side is doing their best to keep children safe. All of us attempt to provide for the best interests of the children who are in our courts. I can't uh, imagine any kind of a case where a judge would intentionally do something that he or she knew was not in the best interest of the child. The signs to look out for to keep kids in the community safe include signs of physical abuse, including unexplained bruises and whelps, behavior extremes such as withdrawal and aggression, and if you see evidence of abuse, make a report to your state's child protective services or local police, because after all, if it doesn't kill them physically, it can kill their spirit, and that we need to put a stop to it. For News 30, I'm Christy Mitchell.